Ovarian cancer is difficult to detect and only 20% of cases are detected early. Symptoms are increased abdominal size and persistent bloating as well as abdominal pain. But doctors say bloating abdominal or stomach is the one that is taken lightly because one could feel that they just have eaten too much. Dr. Gloria Bay has been a gynecologist for years and knows too well what comes with this specific symptom. Not only a patient may realize that a specific bloating is abnormal and could be ovarian cancer, but some doctors too make wrong decisions with patients experiencing bloating. We find this all the time when I was working in Katatura, even with the young girls, they come and they complain of abdominal pain and somehow they just don't do a sauna, they just take to theater and they open <coughs> and there is an ovarian mass. And then they close the person and they say go to the gyne. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. Dr. Bey says sometimes doctors just need to go beyond the creek for the blades to remove suspected water, which they may not even find after surgery, and investigate the cause of bloating. Women with potential high risk of ovarian cancer are those with cancer family history, those without children or have children above the age of 30, and menstruating at the age of 57. Those in attendance were also informed about breast cancer, a type of cancer from observation. They had more questions too. Personal thorough breast examination is a must and women are encouraged to go for checkups as soon as they detect a lump. Causes of breast cancer can be multiple, but there is one that most women, especially mothers, have not realized. That lies in the danger of exposing children to early radiation find women who bring their children with every examination when the child just have a simple cough the mother said please do a, a, a chest x-ray we can't because radiation exposed the little girl to a risk factor for breast cancer later in her life 